You're about to watch me launch my apparel company from my parents' basement. I go through everything I did in this video from ordering my supplies to remodeling a workspace to actually making the clothing all the way up until launch day. So stay tuned to watch the very start of my clothing journey. Yay, I'm so excited for this video. Hi, my name is Frankie. I'm a full-time artist, small business owner, and content creator. And I'm finally going to be starting a clothing line. Well, this is something that I have always, always, always wanted to do. Like literally since I've been a kid, I've been obsessed with fashion. I look not good right now. This isn't a fit. I'm just in my comfies, but I love designing stuff and I'm also an artist and I have been putting in a lot of time and a lot of research into finally dropping apparel. I'm really excited and this is the start of this journey and I want to show you guys and hopefully like this grows and hopefully you guys get to watch the very beginning of this journey and like watch this develop. But right now I'm going to start start ordering a few things. Okay, I'm at the computer right now. I'm finally going to start ordering stuff. I have been I have been researching stuff. I have been pricing stuff out. I have been designing stuff for weeks and I am finally about to pull the trigger and get everything that I need. I'm pretty sure I showed in one of my vlogs me ordering clothing samples like a few vlogs ago, like maybe like a month or two ago. And I was originally planning on having my apparel made externally. Like I was gonna have a manufacturing company do it and stuff. And I have bought samples from like like three different companies now and I just like I don't know I I, I still feel like I want to do it myself so um, I have landed on heat pressing my own clothing I like that I am able to just order blanks and then press my own designs and do it rather quickly versus waiting for a manufacturer to make my clothing for me I like to put out products fast and I want to do monthly drops of new products and this way I can really manage it and do my own things but right now I'm starting from the ground up, square one. I don't have anything for this clothing line yet, so I'm gonna show you guys a few things that I have been working on. Step one is the tags. I'm so excited, look how cute. Okay, I'll put it on the screen because you guys can't really see it, but here are my clothing tags. This is my logo. Corners are gonna be rounded when I get them made, but this is the back. And then here are like my washing instructions. Like a little message to you guys from me. I spent way too long trying to design my tags but I am so happy that I just figured out every little detail. They're so cute. Like I love them so much. I'm obsessed with them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to order my tags through Vistaprint. What I've found is everywhere charges like a stupid astronomical amount for clothing tags so I'm just going to order business cards. I found a little mini hole puncher on Amazon and I'm just going to hole punch all my cards. Hopefully my hands don't fall off from doing that. As soon as a card is labeled a clothing tag it's like so expensive for some reason. It's literally a piece of cardboard. This is my regular business card from Vistaprint that I have right now. So basically it's gonna be like that but turned sideways with a little punch in it. Feels exactly the same as, as any other card would so I'm going to be cutting costs by doing that. So yeah I'm about to hit place order. Place order. Yeah. Yay clothing tags are checked off the list, cool. Let's move into my Amazon cart because she is full. This part of the video was incredibly fucking boring, so I sped it up because you guys do not care about me ordering a hole puncher and a bunch of random shit. So if you guys are really curious, everything is linked down below in my Amazon storefront, but yeah. Let's place this order. Okay, proceed to check out. Ah, order placed right here how excited okay these are just like small little things but this stuff just makes me so excited i all, that was like all the random miscellaneous stuff now all that's really left for me to order is, is my blanks and my heat transfers so if you guys are new to clothing manufacturing there is such thing called blanks you can look up wholesale blank apparel most like graphic stuff is printed on a blank. A lot of your favorite streetwear brands, a lot of your favorite graphic tee brands all use, I'm not gonna say the, the same blank, but like there are like industry standard blanks from my understanding. And I've done a lot of research on, on which blanks I wanna use. I'm gonna order hoodies and t-shirts right now. So I have done so much research on what I like personally in fabrics and what's good for heat pressing and what I like could be totally different than what you like. So definitely just research 
fabrics. Go, go feel shit that's in your closet. Like, go look at the tags. Anyways, I have figured out what blanks that I want to use. I've watched tons of videos. I have done my research on this shit. So, I am ready to place an order. I made some dank pasta. It's dank? Yeah. And I have a lot. I made a shit ton. And, uh, is it lemon? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my boyfriend called me in the middle of that. Um, anyways, I have the items in my cart. So I'm gonna plug in all my information and then now I have my blanks, which is super cool. Ah, I just placed it. Oh shit, that's like one of the biggest online orders I've like ever made. So that's pretty sick. It says everything should be here by October 12th. Apparel wise, it is October 9th right now. So very exciting. Now I have to finish the files for my transfers. I have to order my clothing neck labels. Here are my neck labels that I spent a lot of time making, but they turned out really cute. Um, these are all done. I have to order those as well as the stuff that I'm going to print onto my shirts. Um, oh, I did make the Instagram page today. It's just at Shop Frankie. I also made a separate TikTok that is also just at Shop Frankie. So making the page today and actually ordering this stuff feels like I'm finally like taking the first steps, which is super cool. Um, things are actually coming to me now like physical items are coming for me to create this business which is really freaking cool I've been doing so much research and build up to this so also in this video you guys are gonna see me set up an entire space for me to like run this business out of I don't have room in my studio slash office for doing this my mom has so nicely offered up a space in our basement. So I'm gonna be pulling everything out of that room and painting it and getting that set up for this as well. So yeah, but this is just kind of the start of this business, which is like, I mean, it's not the start of this business. I already have a business and like, I don't know. I feel like I finally found direction with this. So very cool. I don't know. Anyways, I'm rambling now, but yeah. I'll see you guys when more stuff starts to happen. <laughs> Okay guys, all of my stuff has got here. For the most part, I'm waiting on two packages still, but I know that these are my t-shirt blanks. Which I don't know how they packed all of them in this box, but I guess we'll see. Wow, they packed those in there, okay. Holy cow. Nice. That is a lot of shirts. I think that the reason God had me work retail in the past was so that your girl could fold her own apparel for her own clothing business. Yay, side note, my um, Instagram just got approved for Instagram shopping, so now you can shop my store directly on Instagram, which is super exciting. For some reason it wasn't approved before, but now it is, so that's really cool. But anyways, look at that. I'm a very good folder, so. I guess we'll open this one in a minute because that is all the other stuff that you guys saw me order earlier in this vlog. These are my hoodie blanks and I am so excited for these. Nice. That is a fat box of hoodies right there. I am going to pull all these out and fold them. They're all folded. That was a lot of folding. <laughs> um, my shop page for that just got approved for Instagram shopping too. So now both of my pages, you're able to do the little shop thing. It's very cool. Yay, that's also something I have been waiting for approval on. But let's open this Amazon package. I'm very excited for this. I'm most excited for my mini little heat press that's in here. I just wanna see, I think it's gonna be so cute. Is this it? I think this is the heat press. I'm pretty sure. Here are the hang tag strings for my clothing tags. Um, this is the measurement guide for my t-shirts. I'm gonna open that in a second. My Teflon sheets for my heat press. 
here is my heat press mat. Clear poly bags for my hoodies. This is my little mini, my little mini hole. Oh, it's so cute. Wait, let's, let's test it. <gasps> ah, perfect. Nice, and it's pink, bonus. And then lastly are a thousand black safety pins for attaching my tags, so. Very, very cool. I actually have physical things now to start this business. I'm waiting still for my heat transfers. I didn't make this shirt, but it's probably gonna feel exactly like this. I can almost guarantee you that this was a heat transfer, so. I don't, that has nothing to do with my products at all, but yeah, I'm very excited to be able to like hold my own things very soon. I just need my heat transfers and my actual clothing tags and I can finally take product photos and start promoting this thing. I'm eating oatmeal in the car because I'm going between meetings because we have to go to this store. I don't know, basically this is the only time we had to go. But we're gonna go look for a long tabletop so that we can make a long workstation for pressing shirts. I haven't showed you guys the room yet, but we're going to like completely paint and clean out this room that's in our basement and turn it into the workshop workspace for this operation, so. That tabletop is beautiful. I'll try and get a better video of it, but it's like a nice, almost white, like wood green. It's so pretty. It was only $12, which is absolutely insane. Very good deal. Now we just have to paint the room and get it all set up, and we'll have a workspace. This is the most random fucking room you've ever seen. What? What is going on in here? This is going to turn into not this right now. <laughs> we just have so much random stuff thrown in here. It like doesn't make any sense. I don't know. This is like all my mom's stuff, but she said I can move it. Yeah, we're gonna take empty this room out. We're gonna paint it. We're gonna build that table. It's gonna be beautiful in here. I'm super excited, so. noticed that these were in my mailbox and these are my clothing tags and I really want to unbox them right now um this is gonna be like vlog section because I also want to make a tiktok of this so don't mind my phone filming but okay so excited to see these I spent a, a lot of time designing these so let's see okay I'm about to reveal the first so cool. Oh my gosh, awesome. They're so cute. Okay, look at it. There's my logo, and then I have all of my instructions and the little holes is gonna go right there. Bink. I have got a whole bunch of these now. They also printed this slightly to the side, which I didn't approve in the proof, but that's okay. I'm still very, very happy with my tags. They're so cute. 
Day two of painting this room. We need to do another coat because you can still see the blue coming in, but getting there. My tags are here, you guys just saw, and my transfers are also being delivered today, so that's super exciting. If I wanted to, I could press a shirt tonight, but um, I'm probably gonna wait till tomorrow. But yeah, it's all coming together pretty fast. My transfers are here. I'm so excited. They came in this roll, so let's see what they look like. Hopefully I set up my files properly. Whoa. Oh my God, they look so good. Very cool. Here is all of my tags. How cool. Ah! Wow. Um, they're pretty big, but that's okay. Um, and here is the design of my first study. This is a painting that I did and I cut it out digitally and um, it just fits my art style perfectly and I love it so much, so awesome. I'm so happy with them. It is nice and white in here. We're about to pull the tape off of everything. And then we can build my desk and everything is here. I have everything to make everything I need to make, so yes. <laughs> Okay, we're about to build my desk. This is the back side. We got the rug in here and then some other stuff, but we're about to build this and it's gonna go right here and that's where my press is gonna be. Good morning guys, oh my gosh. I don't even know what the last thing I vlogged was. I think it was me trying to press my first shirt. Um, I have been so busy. I literally like just woke up, I look crazy, but I have been so busy just making apparel and like promoting it on TikTok and stuff. And TikTok and Instagram and stuff, I've posted it on all my social media now and you guys are like freaking out and I'm super hype on it. Like I didn't think that I would receive the response that I'm getting right now. So things are looking hopeful for this long which is really cool. It's really like heartwarming to see feedback on something that I made that you guys are like freaking out about like that. So um, I don't even think I showed this in the vlog, but this is what the full shirt ended up coming out like. I'm so happy with it. Obviously I'm wearing the sweatshirt right now and it's so freaking comfy and I it's my new favorite sweatshirt that I own. Not just because I made it, well I guess because I made it because this is like a perfect design for my brain, for me. I don't know. Anyways, I absolutely love this hoodie. But yeah, so it is officially three days until I launch. I still have all of these shirts to press, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, and after that clip, I did a lot of promoting, I took a lot of pictures, I made a lot of TikToks and blasted it all over my social media, and then we landed here on launch day. Okay guys, it is officially launch day, which is crazy. We will see what happens. It is 1.36 and I am launching at 2 p.m. So there's already somebody on my website, which is cool. We're waiting to see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Who knows? One of my TikToks that I posted about my hoodies and my shirts got 19 point 3,000 views, which is pretty cool. So hopefully some people will come from that, maybe, but 
yeah, I guess we will see what happens. Exciting and nervous. <laughs> There's one person on here. Yeah, my website is like locked right now, so it's super boring to be on, so. But I'm about to unlock it in a little bit. I'm nervous. I haven't ever like done anything like this with my business, so. Um, this is all new territory and yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's another dot. <laughs> uh, 553, October 22, 2022. I've had 22 sessions. Hmm. We will see what happens. Okay, it's open. Let's see what happens. Four people checking out. Making some sales, which is cool. And here's where shit sort of hit the fan. I posted an announcement TikTok in an IG post as soon as I launched and I started getting sales and quickly realized that I wasn't charging shipping, which was digging way into my profits. I tried to fix that, but I ended up messing something up on the back end of my website, which in turn ended up preventing my customers from being able to check out at all. And this was happening right when the algorithm was starting to pick up my announcement. So everyone that was visiting my site couldn't check out. And then I ended up getting a lot of frustrated but nice DMs from you guys. It ended up taking me 45 minutes to an hour just to get the shipping back to where you guys could check out and that was still charging no shipping at all. So I told you guys to come back and I was just gonna offer free shipping but, and some people did come back, but not everybody that was trying to check out before. Basically, it was a big mess once I realized what was happening and I ended up not filming the rest of that launch because I was super frustrated. And I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit and say that I sold out. I ended up selling about half of my inventory, which I am still so, so incredibly grateful for. There was a possibility of me selling nothing at all, so. But needless to say, that didn't go exactly according to plan, but I learned a lot from this experience and I also already launched this second design. So I'm not gonna let this little hiccup put me back. I'm gonna keep trying to grow this business. With that being said, if you guys are interested in what I showed in this video, I still have some sizes of stuff available. Some of my sizes did sell out, but I do have some inventory left from my first launch that is still on my website if you guys are interested. But yeah, that was the beginning of my clothing journey. I am very excited about it. I'm happy to have a workspace and I can't wait to keep growing it. Hopefully this was helpful to some of you that are watching this because you want to start your own business. But yeah, it was a lot of fun and I'm so happy to finally have started something that I literally have been wanting to do since I was a kid. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I love you guys so much. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.